Hi guys, I am back and I am here with another city update. And during the time that the last city update has come out, there's been a lot of change, particularly in this beach area. As you probably can notice, there is a lot more tan base plates, and I will get to the details on that in a minute. But the part of the table that used to be like almost like black has been covered up by these tan base plates which are they're all they're kind of they're about the same color as regular lego base plates but they are a knockoff or wannabe brand but they were like half the price and i got 10 of them and i really like how they've come out i'm really going to try to use this seller again because he is selling a bunch of different colors of base plates but it was just such a great deal and I'm so glad that they came out so nice the color is a little bit darker than the normal tan base plate but you can't really tell much about that I mean unless you want to have like an old one next to a new one but I'm gonna try and avoid that as much as possible but I really like these like I said but I am having a few problems trying to blend in the um, the ar artificial already made coastline with these new base plates. So I'm going to try and blend in some regular tan and then some dark tan with that. So I'm going to take this off the tripod. I'm going to show you a little bit more in depth on what I've been doing. Okay, so this is how the beach is looking right now. The water is going to be taken out and I'm going to get some new... Um, blue base plates made by the same seller as these and I'm just probably gonna buy eight of them and I'm gonna do two by four grid of base plates and that's gonna be looking really nice for now I do have the surfboard shop right over here and I hopefully would love to replace this base plate with the new fishing shack create uh, create an idea set I believe the tower is still there, and I'm going to try and blend in some green so there's kind of a path in between the surfboard shop and the tower, and I think that's going to look really nice. And over here, these three or four base plates are going to be marked off for a parking lot. I'm just going to get some either white tiles or maybe even some yellow tiles and just go across, have some parking lines. Not all of this is going to be parking lots. It's only going to be one side, the side closest to the road, and the rest is just going to be for some chairs and some more, like, beach stuff. I do have the volleyball net set up there, but I'm probably going to move it somewhere over here, somewhere kind of out of the way. I'm going to try to keep this peninsula with the beach hut here when I try to move in the new base plates that I order. I really like how it kind of separates the beach for like the community and the pier and harbor section which is going to get a lot more attention once these new base plates do arrive. I'm trying to decide whether the dark tan will still be used instead of this um, regular tan. I tried to use it kind of in between but I don't really like the look especially how it's going to be kind of sandwiched in between the different kind of tan then the dark tan and then the regular lego tan. So, I think it'll be fine if I just take it out and I'll just have the coastline a little bit further up the table. I did want to also show another reason that I want to buy these new tan base plates, and that is because this new building over here is starting to take shape. So, if I move some construction equipment away, you can see that there is a little bit of it starting to be constructed. I still need a few more orders on eBay to get the bricks for the first and second floor but between the updates I did order 300 one by two trans clear bricks and that's done the whole first floor for glass and I just need about 100 two by two by two dark dark tan bricks I believe that's what they're called Lego can be so confusing on what they're actually called but I'm really enjoying how this is coming out and I really can't wait for a taller building to be down here in the downtown area. So that is it for this city update. The next city update should hopefully be a little bit more about the beach as I'm trying to terraform the sides just around so it looks a little bit more elegant and natural. But thank you guys for watching. The next city update should be in a few weeks and hopefully it won't be as far away from the last city update as this one. But thank you guys all for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.